got some brand new animations coming to NBA 2K20. And I have it on good authority. I can't really go into too much detail. But what I know about 2K21 is that the 2K devs apparently are starting from scratch. I don't really know what they mean by that. But what I'm assuming is a lot of the stuff that they used before, they're not going to reuse. They're going to try to get the animations over again. They're going to try to, you know, start fresh. So that's what I'm assuming, and based on what they're showing us right here, getting brand new animations for the brand new game is something that I think we could be pretty excited about. I think we can we can start to we can start to get a little hopeful for what the gameplay is gonna be like. Because for the last two years, we've had somewhat of the same animations. I mean, you can kind of switch between the two games, 2K19 and 2K20, and you won't really see a difference in animations, maybe one or two animations. But for the most part, it's the same animations. But now with 2K21, we're looking at brand new animations and they gave us a sneak peek of the mocap session. In the comment section below, let me know what you guys want when it comes to dunk animations. And I'll give you an example. Personally, I would love to see some contact alley-oop dunk animations. We have a lot of great alley-oop dunks, but we don't have that many, if any, contact dunk alley-oops. I'm talking about DeAndre Jordan on Brandon Knight, Blake Griffin contact alley-oop dunks. That's the stuff I'm talking about, and I would love to see it in 2K21 or 2K22 or just some 2K in the future. But that's it for me. It was a really short video. I wanted to share this with you guys because I want to keep you up to date with all things NBA 2K. If you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that sub button so you stay up to date, and I will see you in my next one. Peace.